Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another one of my wedding makeup series videos, and this one is going to be for a fall bride. I personally adore the fall as a season for getting married in. Everything's so beautiful outside, you can have so many delicious flavors in your food that's more exclusive to fall, and if you're like me and you live in the northeast, the leaves are changing colors, everything is so pretty. I mean, I go to school out in the mountains, and oh my gosh, it would be the perfect place for a wedding. I would love it. It's just amazing. So my look at today is going to be based around all the things that I think encompasses the essential fall wedding look. So I've already put on my BB cream for my foundation, and I've primed my eyelids with my eyeshadow primer, so I'm all set to get started. I'm going to be using the LA Colors Eye Pencil in the shade Bronze Shimmer for the inner corner of both of my eyes. I'm using it kind of like an eyeliner, just going around the actual corner. Okay, so I put it on inner corner of my eyes to about the middle of my pop lid, using it as an eyeliner. So because I'm using it as an eyeliner, I am going to take an angled brush. I'm going to be taking an angled brush and just blending it out. So now that it's been blended out, here's what it looks like. It's a light bronze shimmer. So next I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Powder Keg in the shade Delinquent. And that's going to fill in the rest of the inner corner of my eye. So a lot of people don't like the little applicator that this comes with, but I actually really enjoy it. It's really precise and it's just kind of like a little pencil type foam thing, which I don't know, I kind of enjoy this one. So I'm doing it on both eyelids about halfway across. Then I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and just blending it out. In order to blend it, I just kind of lightly tap the edges so that it looks a little bit less like a straight line. I really love these colors because they're such a nice pretty golden shade for the fall and I don't know, I just really like golden shades in general, but I really love them for the fall. So now taking my angled brush I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, right next to the powder keg. This is a matte shade, so it sort of goes well with the shimmery shades to tone them down a little bit, so it's not like full-out glitter. Of course, if full glitter is your thing, go right ahead and do it. So I sort of smoked it out a little bit with this matte brown. And I'm just going to blend it again, using my fluffy brush. So, now I'm going to go in with this final darker matte brown, and that's just going to go in the crease, again using my angled brush. I'm starting from midway and then just bringing it down. Again, like midway at the crease, then bringing it down to about the edge of where I have my eyeshadow. Then once again, using my fluffy brush, I'm going to just blend it out. So 
so the darker color just adds a little bit of a smoky look to it. This part of it is why I would say it's maybe not the most everyday wear acceptable. I don't know, maybe you like to do a golden smoky eye every day? I really don't, because I'm not the kind of person who does a lot of makeup for every day. Sometimes I wear no makeup every day. So again, taking my matte palette, I am going to just be using this lightest shade right here for crease highlighting on the inner part of my crease. And I'm going to use that same shade for my brow bone highlight. Once again, using my angled brush. And blending it out so that all of the colors sort of flow into each other. Making one cohesive eye look. So that's my eyeshadow. I personally think that this is a very nice sort of natural, but not like excessively so that you can't tell you're wearing any makeup because you do want it to show up in your photos and a little bit more when you're doing photos is always a good thing just so it doesn't make you end up looking washed out so that your eyes have some definition that's another reason I like to use the glittery part on the inner corner because when the light hits it it will reflect and just usually creates a really nice look okay so now I'm just gonna use my eyeliner that I always use which is the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner can't really show you what it says because it doesn't say anything anymore because I've used it so much. Um, yeah. I was going to use one of my Wet n Wild color icon eyeliners, but I can't find it. It mysteriously disappeared. It's a... It's a, another bronzy shade, and I wanted to use a little bit more bronze. I don't really want to use black eyeliner for this look, but I'm gonna have to because my eyeliner mysteriously disappeared, and I can't possibly imagine where it could have gone. So now that I have my eyeliner done, I'm just going to go back to the browns palette. I was using the matte one, and using a liner brush, just kind of go over it with the lighter of the two browns that I used. to try and soften the black a little bit, because black is not the color I would have picked for this. And then the darker brown, I'm just going to pull under this corner. Just a little. Just to keep the smoky effect going. And again, fluffy brush. And so, because I really don't want to go too dramatic for my eyeliner, I'm just using my graphics eyeliner to do my upper lash line. I'm really just trying to tight line it. Okay, so now my upper lash line on both eyes has been tight lined, and I'm going to attempt to do a wing. I don't really do winged eyeliner all that much, so this could be interesting. Okay, so now I've just added a little bit of a wing on each side. Okay, that's a little better. Now I'm going to add mascara.
just going to go back in with my liquid eyeliner because I think I missed a spot. Can't really see it. Okay, that's better. Now both of my wings are actually pointed and not awkwardly stubby. So since I have already done most of my face makeup, I'm just going to add a little bit of blush and then a little bit of highlight. So for the highlight, I'm going to be going in with this fluffy foundation brush, and I am going to be using my e.l.f. Highlighting Contour Palette. I'm not going to do any contouring because this isn't going to be the most dramatic look, but I do want to do a little bit of highlight. So for the highlight, I'm going to be using this really nice white shimmery color, and I will be using a little of this cream color. The cream highlight is what I'm going to just use for, like, the bridge of my nose. And under my eyes. And then the white shimmery highlight is going to go on top of my cheekbone. On top of my other cheekbone. The middle of my chin. And yes, I know it's really patchy. I'm blending it out with a different brush. A little bit just above my eyebrows. Tiny, tiniest bit on the bridge of my nose. Not going all the way down with it. So then, now that I've done my highlight, I'm going to be taking this angled blush foundation brush and just blending it out. So highlighting is done. And I'm just going to go back in with the blush one more time. I've done my highlight, just to touch up a little bit right here. Don't feel like contouring. It's a lot of work. You can contour this look if you want to. I'm just using highlight. So, my face is done. with the exception of my setting powder. So for setting powder, I am going to be using the LA Girl Pro Powder High Definition Setting Powder. And to put it on, I'm going to be using a flat kabuki brush. So now my makeup is set, and I'm just gonna be adding lipstick and I'll be good. I mean, you can also do your eyebrows. Um, I'll probably do that at the end of the video to show you guys how I do my eyebrows, but you definitely don't have to if you don't want to. So I'm going to be using the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss in the shade Canoodle. I love this color because it's a dark berry color, which I think is absolutely perfect for fall. And it goes really well with this look. Also, besides just being a really nice fall color, it smells like fall. I know that might sound weird, but to me it kind of smells like chai tea, and chai tea is just sort of more of a fall tea for me. And I just love how it smells, I love how it tastes, and... I love that. This, it just smells really good. So this is my finalized look before I do my eyebrows. This is how I would say I would wear my makeup to my wedding in the fall, because 
I really like this look. It's darker, it's sexy, but it's not too dark. And the part about it not being too dark is what I really like. Like the lip color is dark, but the eyes brighten it up. And it's just a really pretty, sexy look for fall. And I think it's perfect for a wedding. You can definitely lighten the lip if you don't want a lip color this dark for your wedding. I love dark lip colors personally, but again, I know that's not for everyone. So yeah, definitely you can change it up if you want to. And yeah, don't be afraid to experiment with this look. Don't be afraid to change it up. Don't be afraid to use something you like. And yeah. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows really quickly for you. I use my angled brush and the dark brown in this matte palette because I have really dark eyebrows, so just taking my angled brush, using the dark matte brown, I just go in so did my eyebrows, shaped them out a little bit, made them a little rounder and a little less harsh, and now my makeup is done. So I really hope you guys enjoy this look, and if you want to see more wedding videos, be sure to like this one so I'll know that you guys like it, and feel free to leave comments down below with any suggestions you have for any specific styles you want, and yeah, keep a lookout for all my Halloween videos that are coming up soon because I'm not waiting till October, I changed my mind. I want it to be Halloween now, so I'm going to start doing Halloween videos now. Bye everybody!